Oh, here we go. Diane, Diane. I can't lose to showboating here, so we're going to do it. We locked on target. So then I'm going to target the gel, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and fire the Jepard Buster. Jepard Buster! And we're going to succeed and do three damage. You have enough energy to retaliate. I oh, do, actually. Do. It won't matter, do but it. you can totally do, do. it. Do How it. How much HP does your dinosaur have? Uh, four. Mm. <laughs> what if I kill you both? Yeah, I still win. I, yeah, I priority would say that you win, but I would get the people's well, trophy. You I get lose. nothing. <laughs> you get nothing, yeah? <laughs> I do indeed. Woo! The gel cannot produce the necessary energy. Yeah. And so, and then because I lose. This team produces less than five energy, and that's the game. So it took a while for my dice to start favoring me, but when they did, when they boy. Did. This was actually a pretty solid yeah. example of how combining can play a big role, because your little guys were, they well sucked shit against my <laughs> they team. They did not do very much <laughs> in that situation. But it turns out that the combining into Giganto Bronto with Gave him, a lot of support to the rest of the team and helped Diane to be invincible uh, over Be invincible over. for a turn, which was pretty nice. It was really cool because you actually made her roughly invincible when you went to level 2, and then you made her invincible again when you got to level 3. And made her a lot more dangerous. Yep, at the and same that, time. Gave you, uh, that definitely gave you a thing. Yeah. Alright, that was cool. Um. Uh, okay, everybody. Uh, updates. Aegis is going back Kickstarter. We're drafting the page right now. We are contacting our video guy, and the video is being planned and outlined. Um, so tell everybody about Aegis. And we are also now in active communication with all of the other robot games. Uh, for all, from, of all of them. Every single one. Every it's not, it's really not that far off. <laughs> so I reached out to every other robot tabletop game. Um... And so we might be doing some cross promotions with at least a few of them. Uh, and if you're going to be a PAX East this year, uh, we have submitted. We are going to be on no less than. Uh, We've submitted. No we have. Less we have than. submitted eight panels. Um, <laughs> so one would hope that at least one of those. <laughs> Probably will one will be but on. We got one uh, for the specific relevant ones. We got board game publishing, which we do every year. Uh, we got one about um, designing from life experience which is something that we're doing with a bunch of uh, other tabletop designers that I, we met at Metatopia. Uh, and then we are doing a panel on rapid prototyping your game properly. When can we expect the Kickstarter? I need time to make back the money I spent on Christmas. <laughs> well, wait, uh, realistically, so we, we, have, we have some dates set. I wouldn't expect it ultra soon, but we're going to see if we can have it in ship shape by the end of January. And then the actual time when we hit the launch button will depend on other circumstances. Like, we're doing, like, other work right now outside of Aegis with our company. So we're going to see how that goes. So so we're targeting late Q1 or early to mid Q2 of uh, 2017 in yeah. an ideal world. There might be something that pushes that, but if there is, we'll obviously let you guys know. In every single, in every single world and dimension of reality, I want this thing up and going by March. So that is the rough key. We might end up uh, being or doing this around like um, yeah. Pax East and stuff. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully March, early April is the goal. If we have to push it a little bit, we might do as late as May. But if this something time we're, big happens, we'll let you guys know, but we don't expect it. Yeah, and this time we're doing this fabulous thing known as getting feedback on our Kickstarter. So, yeah, the pre-production so, of our Kickstarter was pretty bad last time. Yeah, last time around, our our Kickstarter oh, planning phase wasn't... Uh, it was five days long. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> as well-coordinated as it could have been. And so this time we're going to try and make sure that we have everything in good shape day one. Yep. We're going to try and seek feedback from some of... Everybody, you folks, make sure that you guys are interested. Make sure that the people we know you gotta like make it. sure all the tiers, uh, all the tiers, stretch goals, and add-ons are properly planned out. Um, it makes sense. I guess I'll ask you. Hey, Bright Fox, this is something we could probably get feedback on now. Would be how do you guys feel about add-ons for separate games that aren't Aegis? Because some of the people that we're cross-promoting with have asked us, like, well, what if we give you a, things of our game? as add-ons and then all the extra difference goes towards Aegis when people buy them. Which seems like a cool idea, but it's obviously something that we're new at. Still with green... Um, not... 
In terms of being with Greenbrier, that's also we're long, the Kickstarter that we will be launching will be through our personal account. Let's put it that way. Um, that is the only thing I can confirm regarding Greenbrier at the moment. Yeah, we we've still maintained we're all still, of our relationships with them. We're going to be with them at PAX East and. Uh, yeah, so every, we're still we're still like working with Greenbrier, but functionally the Kickstarter and possibly the production and manufacturing of the game will not be with Greenbrier, but we might be with them for a distribution. That's that's all also still in flux. Yeah, we're we're working all of that out right now. But yeah, it will be you'll be able to seeing the Aegis Kickstarter through either a Zephyr Workshop account or my personal Breeze Griggis account. And yes, let's okay. see. If there are crossover, oh yeah, we will not be crossovering with Heavy Steam. That is, can 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 confirm unless actually we didn't. I didn't really. I actually didn't think about that. I did not think about one of the promo cards being a Heavy Steam robot. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. something we could do. Uh, yeah, we we definitely look to uh, if we do an add-on game, it would be as part of the cross promotion deal. Yeah, we don't want to just pick a game and say, hey, give us money to buy this game. Oh no, no, it it would be like throughout the campaign, we'd be revealing. We would be revealing the various cross-promotion robots. So, like, you'd be able to get a robot that you could play in Aegis, um, but it's another robot from another game, and we get their art, and it'll, like, feel like the other game. And uh, and then that robot's respective game might be an add-on. Is That's all still also in very early talks. But, uh... It's intriguing. But I also don't want to alienate people either. But... We will see, and that's why we're getting feedback before we launch this time. So yeah. if people see that we have a bunch of add-ons for games that aren't ours, and everyone says it's a terrible idea, we probably won't do it. We will adjust so accordingly. We will adjust, like idea, we will adjust accordingly. We might use it. It depends on what you guys want. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it is neat. Um. So yeah, I think we should wrap up for the night, and then um, hopefully everybody will have a very ultra Merry Christmas. And if yeah, if you're stoked with the for the Kickstarter relaunch, remember most of uh, most of our revenue will come from word of mouth. So yeah, just you know, keep uh, share the game, share, share the, game. the page. And also, if you hear any feedback on the game, like if you show your friend this game and they're like, "What is that garbage?" Uh, tell us so we can. This is that. That's the important feedback to get, because sometimes the 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 first five seconds of what they see is the most important thing. So yeah, always looking for all kinds of feedback because Kickstarter is unforgiving. <laughs> and in future screen, can we see the other gameplay type? Are you Which referencing one? point control? Yeah, okay, we can cool. do we can do point control. Oh yeah yeah yeah. We don't need to do that. We just haven't had the. We haven't just haven't actually imported the graphic asset for the board. Yeah, there's just the like, board. There's some extra stuff that you set up on the board for that particular game mode. So we just have to make sure we have that in tabletop sim. That's a good. But that's we a should good be able to know. do that pretty soon, hopefully. Yep. Uh, point control is really interesting. It's a lot different from regular Aegis. You have to think about the game in a very different way, which is kind of cool. Yep. All right, boys. Um. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. You can probably see us next week during the Christmas, New Year's... What do you call that gap? That The taint of the holidays? I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> I would never call it that. <laughs> the, 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 the Noel? Uh, but, it's, I don't know. In between? Yeah, the in between. There's a yeah, kosher word. I mean, well, well, it's all part of... The Yuletide, right? The Yuletide. So I don't know what you want to call that. <laughs> we'll still be burning the Yule log next week, and yeah. So yeah, we should. <laughs> All the day team. Yeah. We should be. Uh, <laughs> we should have a stream again uh... next week. We'll do something <laughs> fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's see. the plan for now, and then with 2017 comes new things. Woo. Yeah. All right, bye, guys. Hit the exit. Have a good night, everybody.